Former Florida governor and three-time U.S. Senator Bob Graham has died. West Tuesday, McDaniel spoke with some other leaders who knew him best serving alongside him. I am today declaring that I am a candidate for the president of the United States of America. To those who knew him, the passing of former governor and U.S. Senator Bob Graham is the loss of a natural leader. Keep in mind, when he left the governor's uh, mansion, his popularity rate was 83 percent. You never heard about that anymore. You'll never see that again. Consultant Dick Batchelor served in the Florida legislature with Graham, including Graham's first term as governor. Great at public policy, would really think things through, and was very good about reaching across the aisle to get things done. Bob Graham is one of the great public servants that Florida has produced. NASA Administrator and former U.S. Senator Bill Nelson said Graham's more than 400 work days while in office, where he would do a litany of jobs, a full shift on many days, made him popular with those who elected him. When he ended up doing 400 work days, of which he touched almost every kind of job in Florida, and there's nothing like learning about what your people need by going in and actually standing in their shoes and doing their job. Bill Nelson said Bob Graham governed between the 40 yard lines, understanding that you couldn't build a consensus if you were too far either side of the 50. Be bipartisan and to reach across the aisle, bring people together and build consensus. He had a, a wonderful vision of how Florida could balance honestly, growth and development together with a sustainable future. Graham and Jimmy Buffett teamed to create what is now Save the Manatee Club. The club CEO said then Governor Graham was a champion of the environment. He was there to make sure that support was for those things essentially statewide that needed to happen for the environment. Bob Graham was 87. Dave McDaniel, West 2 News. Graham always carried a small notepad and more than shaking hands with constituents, he'd write down their name and the concern that they shared with him.